Hey, Comic Get Back, Sheldon back again for another interview, this time with uh, the always incredible Christos Gage. Uh, sir, you've done so many good things. You're currently doing uh, Avengers Academy. Let's start off with that, first okay. of all. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on right now in Avengers Academy and where you think it's going to go, where, you, where you're sort of headed with that. Because uh, what I got from it, and from what I, you know, as I read it, it, it seems to have that X-Men, it's like an X-Men feel, you know, you have the X-Men engine, but each one is, has their own powers and that sort of thing, so it kind of deals with that and them as a unit, obviously, because they're still trying to discover their powers. Um, well, the, I mean, what, what's just happened basically in Avengers Academy is following the events of Fear itself, uh, one of the original members, Vale, has left the team. Okay. And uh, the, the, their headquarters was destroyed. So they are moving into the old West Coast Adventures headquarters in Los Angeles, or outside Los Angeles. So there'll be another group with Moon Knight being there. And, <laughs> yes. And Dakin. So that's good. Yeah. They're kind of, you know, spreading the heroes out a bit. That's good. And they're inviting, uh, basically any super-powered youth can now come to Adventures Academy to take classes or train or whatever. So even though we're going to still focus on the same four characters, we're opening the opportunities to have a lot more uh, teen hero guest stars come in, which a lot of readers enjoyed when we did the Superhero Prom in issue 13. Yeah. So uh, we're doing that, uh, which is fun, and uh, in issue 22 we've got Magneto showing up with a couple of other X-Men, Cyclops and, and Emma Frost, which is fun because finally we get the Quicksilver Magneto confrontation. Um, and then in 27, the Runaways show up, which okay. is something fans have been asking for for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of been a little bit out of the, the light of it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's all going to be, you know, fun stuff, and I hope people check it out. You did the Captain America game. Yes. Uh, I have to tell you, I love, I love the story so much. Um, and it was very... It had a, uh, the game was very similar to the playstyle of like Arkham City and, and that sort of thing, but with Cap. And uh, I wasn't expecting much. Man, the story just packed. It's awesome. Man. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, we got to bring in some World War II, World War II era Cap villains like Iron Cross and Arnim Zola, and uh, we brought in a World War II era Madame Hydra. So that was a lot of fun. Cute little Captain America over here <laughs> and Iron Man. Um, and. Uh, so I had a great time working yeah. on it and had a fun time playing it. If they do any sequels, you think you'll be, uh, you might be on board for it? I would totally be yeah. into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you be writing? Uh, would you ever be interested in writing like a Captain America series at all? Absolutely. Yeah. But I think I, I would have to pry from Brubaker's cold dead fingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. There might be. There might be a little bit of that. But who knows? You know, with, with another with an Avengers movie. You know, he's old and he doesn't take good care of himself. Yeah, he, yeah. He, the heroine and the. He's got to cut back. Yeah, he you know? really does. He's, uh, or not. Because maybe that way I'll get to write exactly, the book. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. And uh, also, I just want to bring up, I've always been a huge fan of Union Jack. Uh, is there any chance, any chance, I know we talked a little bit uh, yesterday about it, briefly. Uh, do you have more Union Jack stories in you? Uh, under the right circumstances, sure. Maybe with Perkins with or Perkins, Dice, yeah. maybe? Absolutely. Either of those guys I'd love yeah. to work with. I did use Union Jack in the Invaders Now miniseries. And I love that. I love Thank that. you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Mike and I would always be glad to do it again. You know, yeah. Union Jack, we all love him, but he's not what you would call a A-list character. No, he's not. He's in our not. hearts, he is. But, but, you know, it's a tough market right now, so this may not be the best time, but, you know, uh, hopefully when the economy gets better and people buy more comics, we yeah. can come back with some new Union Jack. I think he's a very he's a very interesting character that is sort of underused, and I and I appreciate I what you've done for him. Uh, so I just want to thank you for that, man. My pleasure. Again, we look forward to more uh, more of the Avengers Academy, and uh, just keep up the great work. Thank You're you doing so a great much. job. Appreciate a great it. Job. Thank you. More from Long Beach Comic Con 2011. See you soon, Comic and Back.